Okay, at the quick break and ready to move on. I've set the camera up slightly differently as well. I'm trying to experiment with this, you know, with the slightly new setup I have. So, if the if so, you know, if the shot looks a bit different, that's why I kind of moved the camera slightly. Okay, next thing we gotta do is identify which ass belongs to Meryl, and then we got the Psycho Mantis boss fight, which I think most people consider that their favorite boss fight in the series. I think. Or at least back in the day they did. I think nowadays that might have changed. Uh, I know there's like a bunch of objects, a uh, bunch of objects or items, should I say, that you can find in these rooms. But some of the rooms require a level five key card to enter, so I'm not going to bother searching all of the rooms until I get the uh, the higher key card later on, which comes right after the boss fight with Psychomantis. I mean, I have to backtrack later on to get a sniper rifle anyway, so I'm not going to bother searching all the rooms. Okay, so to B1 we go. I love the music that plays here on this floor now. I always got to make sure my head's still in the face cam. Okay. Figure out which one's Mel. Ooh, careful there. Too close. Something coming up. A bit too far away to tell. How about you? That's her. That's her. Your mouth. Another 10 minute cutscene, coming right up. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So, there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. 
Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too! I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I wanna know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? FAMAS. That's how you pronounce it. Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Yeah, I was right, right? Where'd you I get that Desert I Eagle? Famous. I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? All the rations and ammo that we need. Not that you really need any ammo for a Psycho Mantis. I mean, every time I fight him, I just use my fists. It seems like the easiest thing. Otherwise, if you're shooting him, you always have to aim and half the time you miss, so... I'd rather just punch him. That's all of it. I think uh, there's some sort of Easter egg where if you stare at Meryl for too long, like if you stare at the tits or something, then it triggers. It's like it, she says something, I think. Let's try it. What? What is it? Is that it? What are you staring at? Come on, Snake. Is that the Easter egg? She just says that. Don't stare at me like that. I'll wait for one more line of dialogue. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, you I think it's repeated. Never mind. Oh wait, she didn't say that before. Whatever, let's move. Okay. Go with the famous boss fights. My head! Oh, it hurts! What's 
withdraw. Don't come here, Snake! Are you okay? Uh, uh. What happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. A commander is waiting. What happens if you call the team? Do they say anything about Meryl acting strange? Colonel, Meryl's yeah. acting kind of strange. Maybe she's just feeling a little tired from all the stress. Snake, do you hear something that sounds like a song? Yeah, I do. I started hearing it a little way back. What could it be? Hurry ahead, Snake. The underground base is to the north, isn't it? People who have been through war and survived. Uh, we have more motivational speeches. Thank God Meryl's okay. She's a tough one, all right. Although when you look at her, it's hard to imagine how tough. It must be the walk. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad she's okay. I also got a key from her. I think I can use it to stop them from launching a nuke. Get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance. I'm gonna bother with Natasha. Let's do it. Herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That mind tune is control, mind control. I always thought that was kind of weird. Don't I'm use sure. your weapon. Try to knock her out. Okay. I think this is a trick that everybody knows, but doing this fight, if you hold triangle, it shows instead of looking through Snake's perspective, you look uh you look from Psycho Mantis's perspective. Which is useful for when he turns invisible as well. So it, it allows you to locate him. I mean, you can kind of see them faintly anyway, because when enemies are invisible in Metal Gear Solid, they still kind of glow slightly. Like right there, you can still see him above the desk. Just he's kind of blending in. Hope that's not your only trick. You, you doubt my power. I do have a Castlevania save on this, uh, on my memory, so he should mention it during the cutscene. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psycho Mantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I think this is where we reach the memory card. I can see into your mind. You like Castlevania, don't you? Hmm. 
have not said it often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as fast as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. What do you think now? Can you feel my power now? The demonstration is over. This game just doesn't break the fourth fall, it just completely shatters it. Connection hour? What? <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, um... Let's see what they all have to say. That psycho mantis, former KGB psychic, he has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that he became a sort of psychic spy. I got a feeling the Phantom Pain is going to wreck on that little piece of, the, you know, the backstory just then. If you've seen the trailers for the Phantom Pain, you may, uh... I'm sure you'll understand why I think that. Who knows, maybe they'll keep the backstory, but I think they're going to wreck on it. Uh, Natasha, what'd she say? A psychic soldier, yes. Although they will not admit it, many countries have paranormal programs and use psychics in their special laws. Psychics range in power from those who can bend spoons to those who can cause natural disasters. But Psychomantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. Welcome. Stealth camouflage works by bending the light around the user in such a way that they're rendered nearly invisible. I always wondered what the science was behind the stealth camouflage. Hmm. It's interesting. Really? It's true. Your enemy is a powerful telepath. But you've got more battle experience. You can do it, Snake. I know if you keep calling Campbell several times, he'll eventually just give you. He'll tell you how to win. Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. The only thing I don't like about this boss fight is that there's no re there's no real way to figure out how to how to win, how to hit him. You basically have to keep dying until they tell you how to do it, or keep calling them until they tell you. It's like, why would you ever think to put the controller? into number two like you, you would never think that like they could have at least hinted at it during the cutscene but ability to read your controllers moves that's how he's evading your attack and this is where he just flat out tells you okay yeah that, that there we go he basically just flat out told you I do believe there's another way to stop him from reading your mind the controller port Apparently, if you break one of the statues, the bust on one of the statues, apparently that allows you to hit Psychomantis without swapping the controller ports. But I've never done that before. Apparently, you have to die once or twice, and then uh, Campbell will tell you to break the statue, and only then can you break the statue. I've never done it myself, but that's what I've heard. I remember as a kid, I used to think like, "Wow, the game is actually reading my mind," but obviously it's just psycho. You know, they obviously programmed uh, psychomatis to just like move every time you hit the button. So it's not as if the game's actually reading your mind, obviously. Um, but yeah, that, that's another really cool thing back in the day as well. Of course, the fact that you had to stand up and once again do something in the real world—you had to actually stand up and move 
and actually do something in the real world in order to win. In this case, it was just swapping the controller ports for the controller. You know, it's a little thing, but back in the day, that was amazing. It was like no game, no game in the world ever made you do something like that before. I don't know, maybe there was one or two games like that. If there are, I've never heard of them. Uh, Ma Metal Gear was one of the first, if not the first. Oh shit, what? Huh. I guess you have to crawl to dodge those. Even if you haven't switched the controller port, you can still hit Psychomantis sometimes. Most of the time when you try to punch him, he will dodge it, but... Um, sometimes you will get lucky and you will actually land a hit on him. And uh, the first time I ever played this as a kid, I never figured out that you were supposed to swap the controller ports. So the first time I ever played this as a kid, I ended up beating Psychomantis like, without ever switching the controller port. It took a very long time, but I eventually... I eventually managed to get enough lucky hits in to bring him down. That must have took me like half an hour to do. I didn't mind though because I loved the boss fight. Like Psycho Mantis, I just loved the character as a kid. He was just, you know, he's really spooky, really cool, really mysterious. Like none of the other bosses are really like this, I guess. Although every single Mega Gear Solid game have this, they all have their spooky moments. Like MGS2 of course is Arsenal gear when uh, the AI starts to go crazy. MGS3 is the sorrow. MGS4? I don't know. Would you really say MGS4 has a spooky moment? I would personally say uh, Screaming Mantis was kind of spooky, but I guess that's the closest you get to Mega Solid 4 turning into a horror game. And from what I've seen from the trailers, the Phantom Pain is going to have plenty of spooky moments. It's kind of like a tradi uh, tradition in the Mega Gear Solid games for, uh, for the Mega Gear Solid games to turn into like a little bit of a horror game at some point. One thing, uh, the, the music you're hearing right now is the exact same music which plays during every single boss fight. Every single boss fight has the same music. But um, in the GameCube version, the music that plays during the Psycho Mantis boss fight is different. And while the GameCube version is inferior to the, uh, the, this PlayStation 1 version in like every way possible, uh, the one thing I will say about the GameCube version which is superior to this is the music during this boss fight. Psychomantis kind of has his own unique theme which plays during his boss fight and the music is amazing. I've, I've, like, like I said, I've never played the GameCube version but I've heard the music for this boss fight on YouTube and it, it's, it's just awesome. It's uh, appropriately spooky, you know, the music is pretty creepy and it's just, it's just really awesome. I don't really have much to say. If you haven't heard the YouTube it, Psychomantis boss fight theme for the GameCube, it's just great. 
That's the only thing which is superior in the GameCube version. Whoa! Yeah, this is where things get crazy. Get down, duck. Apparently not a lot of people know that, because when I watch other people's playthroughs of this game, they don't realise you can just crawl to dodge all of the objects. So instead they're constantly like running around the room in circles trying to dodge everything. It's like, you can just duck. Here we go. A Psycho Mind is done with. See you in Phantom Pain. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, have you used the other... Did I just see something in the top left corner of the screen? I, I, I swear to God, I saw like a glowing yeah. yellow object. A strong man doesn't need to read him to see things. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. <laughs> to get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance space. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to... The village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I'm wondering if Kojima is going to retcon that piece that of his backstory as well. Or maybe they'll mention it in Phantom Pain. <laughs> like, I haven't seen anything in Phantom Pain which would the suggest they are retconning this part of the backstory. The 
world is more interesting. Like, they would have to like at least mention it or something. So at some point of the game, Big Boss will ask what's up with the kid the in the gas mask, and Skullface will have to say something about it. Dreams of world conquest do not interest. Like Skullface would probably say, "Oh, it's this kid who burned down his village. He has psychic powers." Excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster! Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. Kojima has admitted that There's the Phantom Pain will retcon some minor uh, story, uh, some minor points in the story. You're just like the boss. I don't really blame him. The Metal Gear no, series is so kind of, you know, it has so much stuff Compared going on. It's hard to keep track of all of it. I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's. I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power. Kind of... Nice. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake, what's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. Okay then, moving on. Does Campbell say anything about that fight? It looks like Meryl's okay. Thanks, Snake. Snake, there's no time left. I have got to hurry bitch. up and get to the underground base. You should be able to go north from the commander's room. Okay, let's go. in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me.
Now, about Articon, you can call him. Apparently, if you call him when you're low on ammo or rations, he'll come and bring you uh, rations or ammo, whatever you're low on. I've never done it before. I just, I, I always wondered how it would work, though. Like, does Articon actually appear and drop it off? And, like, does he actually appear within the game and give it to you, or does he call you up and say, hey, I left some ammo at this specific location? I've always wondered how that worked. I've always heard about it, but I've never done it. Probably because I never do actually get low on ammo or rations. There's always plenty in the game. I've never been... I've never been fond of this little area here. Just get... just... I just want it to be over as quick as possible. Expecting, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I was hoping I could hit him. It's by here, right? I know I could have used the, the night vision goggles to like see better there, but uh, I didn't see fine without them. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Okay, so the dogs like male, so they don't attack you when you're around her. But if you punch male, they'll attack you. But um, yeah, there's a little Easter egg here. I've never tried this. I've heard about it. Oh wait, I can't do nothing. What are you Okay, the game wasn't letting me do anything there. Okay, let's try again. So, if you punch her, they'll attack you, but... Nope. What are you doing? Hmm, what's going on here? The game's not letting me... Uh, let's try it now. Yes. That's it. The dog just pisses on the box if you equip the box after punch him out. Let's try it one more time. That's it. Okay. Let's go to the next boss fight. What are you doing? It's just a prank, bro. Chill out. Place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! You can practically skip every single cutscene in the game. I think there's one or two cutscenes that you can't skip. But they're, they're only like 5 or 10 seconds long, so it's like, who cares? But this one... This is one of the few unskippable cutscenes. And when you replay it, when I'm replaying the game, I don't always watch all the cutscenes when I'm replaying the games. Like sometimes I do if I'm in the mood, but sometimes I just want to play the game and enjoy the gameplay. And then this is one of the few cutscenes you can't skip. It's just like it's so unnecessary. It's only like 20 seconds long, but it's annoying when you've seen yeah, it like a million times Pretty before. Good, huh? How did you know? Like I said, I beat the game like hundreds of times as a kid. So when, man just dove into my mind, when I want to just play through the game and skip the cutscenes, I really don't don't want to be watching bullshit like this. Well. A little bit. Only a little? Now you're supposed to follow that trail to avoid the mines, but you can actually just do this. Walk to the right and then up. Just to bypass them. Saves a bit of time. Oh, that's what I should have tried. I should have tried zooming in with a scope. I wonder if you can see Snap the Wolf what is it? before you uh, trigger the cutscene. Meryl, get down! Meryl! me they want. Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. 
No! My gun... I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised... I wouldn't slow you down. I... I... I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. I think it's great how dramatic this game can be with like the graphics it has. Now get out of here. I mean, people's, you know, people's faces, they don't even move. They're just like one polygon, but it's great. It's just a testament to how like, awesome this game is. In fact, it can make you feel for these polygons. Snake, it's great. It's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Merrill so he can pick you off. Don't do it. it must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. I was felt bad for Thanks. Colonel doing this uh, little... What's wrong, segment. Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? You didn't mean to pick go up that yet. far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, right. and I don't care. I operate on instinct. I'll, I'll text you I when I leave them. now, okay? I'm going to save Meryl. Cheers. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Okay, so from this point you gotta get a sniper rifle, and of course if you call Otacon he'll tell you right where it is. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Merrill's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Uh, nothing. Why is he blaming Otacon? I don't I never got that. Like, what's wrong with you, Otacon? Why would you even say that? What's strange here is that all of, the, all of those claymores that were placed are, are now gone. Or well, they might be there, but when you leave, get a sniper rifle and come back, all of the claymores have disappeared, so you don't have to worry about them when you're fighting the Sniper Wolf. So now we've got to backtrack all the way back to the first building. Uh, I'm probably going to like fast forward this, like edit all of this out. But, um, you know, when you first hear about it, when you first hear you're supposed to go all the way back to the first building to get the sniper rifle, Initially, you're like, really? Like, I have to go all the way back there? But when you actually stop and think about it, it's not even that far. I mean, it takes five minutes to get there. Uh, actually, I may be uh, under-exaggerating that. It takes like seven, uh, six or seven minutes to get there and back. It's not even that far. It only seems like a really uh, long distance because it took ages to get up to this point. Because to get up to this point, you were constantly being harassed by boss fights and cutscenes. So for that reason, it took you like an hour or two hours to get to this point. But if you're actually just running straight back without any boss fights or cutscenes pestering you, then it's it takes less than like six minutes. Yeah, actually, I would say about five minutes, roughly. That's how long it would take.
Although slight, slightly later on it does get a bit annoying because right now I have to backtrack to get a sniper rifle and then I have to go back to the boss fight and kill the boss. But once you've done that, you end up having to backtrack all the way through again later on during the torture room. So it's like, I already backtracked there, now I have to do it all over again. At that point, it's kind of like you're taking the piss, but thankfully, then you can be done with this area. You can move on and just not have to worry about going back again until you get to the bullshit with the key card, having to heat up and cool it down. Those of you who play the game know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just got back to B2 of the first building. As you can probably guess from the from my clothes, this is a different like session. This is the day after I last recorded. It's all good though. Okay, wasn't expecting him to come down yet. I like how uh, towards the start of the game, Naomi says that the genome soldiers, they all have like a highly developed sense of hearing and all this shit. And they can't see you when you're standing right in front of them. But hey, it's a game, they, they've got to have like limitations obviously, otherwise it's, it would be just way too hard. I do sometimes set off those wires, the, the lasers. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Okay, now we go backtrack all the way back to uh, Sniper Wolf. Almost walked into them. We can do it. It's kind of awkward. Okay, it's all good. No, 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 don't open the door. Now. Ah, that's. That sound always makes me jump. Well, not always, but it does most of the time. I know Mega Solid 3 and 4, there's a lot of moments where I'm either like hiding in the grass or trying to blend into a tree or something like that. And there's an enemy guard walking very slowly towards me. I'm just on the edge of my seat wondering whether or not he's going to spot me. And then when he does spot me, there's that... It really, really loud alert sound, which scares the shit out of me all the time. One cool trick I just remembered with these wolves is that uh, because um, you know the wolves like Mel, and uh, earlier on in the game I punched one of the uh, I punched Mel, and the dog pissed on the box. If you use the box here, the dogs they don't mind you. Just another cool Easter egg. Oh wait, but if you take the box off, they'll attack. Oh, what's the box here? Oh, there we go. See, now he's friendly again. As long as I don't take off the box, I'm fine. That was the... Okay, so before we fight Sniper Wolf, let's do the usual boss routine. Give everyone a call, see what backstory they have to offer. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone knows that women have more patience than men. Or so they say. Sniper Wolf can go for a whole week with no sleep, no food, the sights never straying from her target. And on top of that, she takes diazepam, so her hands never tremble. Got a PSG one. You could master. 
The most important tools you need to be a good sniper are the senses that you were born with. No amount of training can change those. If your senses are dull from the beginning, you'll never be a good sniper. That's kind of generic mo sniper. motivational speeches I'm talking about. It's just not very useful. What is it, Wolf? Oh. I, I just forget it. Oh, that's referring to the little relationship, right? Get on your stomach. Fire from the prone position. It would be good if you had a tripod or something stable to balance your weapon on. Which there are none of If you do not again. have that, hold the weapon firmly under your armpit and keep it still with your chin. Line up your target in your scope's crosshairs. If I'm calling metal. Alright, let's do it. Oh, wait, I'm probably about to get shot. Ooh, managed to shoot it without using the as a pen. Circle. Okay, so far not too bad. Two more shots. Which side is she gonna come out of? The dias apparently is about to wear off, I bet. Yeah. I missed. Shoot. I missed. At least she didn't hit me. One more shot. I'm gonna have to reload as well. Okay. Reline the shots. Which. Which you go? To the right? Go on. Using the sniper rifle is a lot more awkward than it looks. The first time you play the game, it does give you a lot of trouble because when you equip it, you can't move. It's just uh, the, the controls for Metal Gear Solid are kind of awkward anyway. Uh, the first time you play the game, it takes a while to get used to them, but obviously I played the game a million times, so you know, don't give me any trouble. But the sniper rifle. Basically, the really stiff, awkward controls for the sniper rifle makes that boss fight really tough the first time you play it. Or at least I had a lot of trouble with that boss fight the first time I played it. I think most people do. Or at least from the play... When I watch other playthroughs of people playing this game for the first time, they seem to have a lot of trouble with it. I don't blame them. At all. I wonder if they say anything about the bloodstains. They'll probably mention that she's still alive or something. Good job with Wolf. Is Meryl okay? I am Meryl, I don't know. I don't see her around. You don't think she's been captured, do you? Could be. Let's ask Wolf. If she's still alive, I'm gonna get some answers. Snake. About Meryl. I'm counting on you. He has to say something about Wolf. No, nothing at all. Okay. She probably wants it. Okay. Oh wait, so there's one thing with Mei Ling before we move on. I'm not gonna save the game, but I do like this little dialogue she has. Nick, wouldn't now be a good time to save your mission? What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling? Something you ate? No, I'm serious. Like a premonition or something. I love that little foreshadow in there. I'm pretty good at uh, mashing buttons really fast though, so... I don't think this is going to give me any trouble. Well, it never does. As a kid it did. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. She seems to be in pretty good shape considering I shot her like five times with a sniper Stop rifle. Now. No bleeding, no nothing. Lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? I would believe that. Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? For obvious reasons. I'll die after I kill you. 
<laughs> Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. Oh, you're my special prey. Got it. Huh. I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Take him away. Don't kill me yet. I'm too a man. Leave it to me. I want no more accidents like that. Dark Dark. Yes, he's my target. My mind. This is a really minor thing, I didn't realise this until I beat the game a bunch of times, but if you push the directional button to it, you can actually like look around slightly. You know who I, am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who I'm sure most people know that, but as a kid I never ever once pressed the button. This. That was like a big shock to me when I finally did it. Forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Yeah, and Ocelot says that really? as well. That's another thing I was surprised by, that he reacted good to it. Just one of many Easter eggs in the Metal Gear Solid games. If you can call that an Easter egg. After 30 long years, it's kind of an Easter egg, I guess. The two of us meet. The brother of light. And the brother of dark. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. <laughs> 